We last spoke in February at Mobile World Congress where you talked us through some of your updates there. What have you brought to this show now in uh, towards the end of October, a few months later? All right. So the good news is that the uh, uh, 40 gig platform based on ATCA has become a reality. Uh, so we're shipping products based on 40 gigabit Ethernet, uh, uh, backplane connectivity. Uh, we have a close relationship with Kavium and we extend our portfolio on the Kavium architecture. So primarily multi-core uh, network processing uh, in combination with some of the software features needed for packet gateway applications uh, such as deep packet inspection. Um, there is a variety of, of time scale to be needed to be uh, integrating software packages on your own. So we uh, extended the commercial of the shelf uh, approach by uh, framing some of the uh, software work together with Kavium to provide it to the, to the market. And we, ha we have a demo here at the show where we're actually demonstrating deep packet inspection on a live demo uh, in combination with, uh, with x86 and Kavium to, to see how quick we can bring customers to the market uh, in a short period of time. So just uh, maybe just to remind people what some of the applications are of your technology within networks and then how putting these packages in extends that. Right. So basically the framework is advanced in the communications computing architecture. This is the hardware framework for um, uh, platforms which are going into the MME applications, LTE type of platforms. Um, and going with LTE and packet uh, gateway applications, deep packet inspection becomes a crucial portion for that. So besides the multi-core architecture and the high bandwidth for 40 gigabit Ethernet to the backplane and to the I.O., um, the software portion is still a significant portion to work on to do um, deep packet inspection on the platform. So the framework what we created together with Kavium is a platform called Turbo DPI, which is running on multi-core architecture to be best optimized um, to shorten the time to market for our customers. Yeah, so uh, the, I suppose the obvious question is, Taking this approach to DPI, what advantage that gives uh, operators over the you know, other DPI engines and providers that they've got at the moment? Right. So some of the applications you can see for DPI is besides the wireless applications, the LTE applications, is one example, content insertion. So content delivery, content insertion, content instruction, load balancing also, to be optimized in the uh, in a standard-based hardware architecture to to uh, maximize your application bandwidth. Uh, for the end user. By the end of the day, it's coming down to, uh, um, to the quality of, uh, of service to the end user in order to, to enhance the, uh, the user experience. Okay. So the, these are the products that, that we'll see, uh, that, that we're looking at now on the stand that you're talking about? That Cor that. Correct. So this is basically a framework uh, for telecom equipment manufacturers mm -hmm. who can leverage on what has already been done and then focus on the application on top of that, not so much on the deep packet inspection architecture or algorithm itself because it's already existing while reinventing the wheel. So we're basically providing that package in order to get them to the market much quicker and much faster to revenue. Mm -hmm. And did you, you mentioned that it's x86 ramps, is that, is that a new thing or what, for you? Yeah, so there's, an, <coughs> there's uh, some work ongoing with uh, x86 with Interbase architecture, also multi-core, um, you know, we're leveraging some of the work in combination of uh, Kavium and x86 or Kavium and Intel to do co packet uh, co-processing. So the demo what we will be seeing is uh, a combination of both. So you have a, a Kavium platform and an Intel platform and basically the, the Kavium platform is doing the load uh, on work on this platform to uh, do packet inspection and uh, pass dedicated packets to the x86 architecture who does then the, the rest of the processing on the platform itself. And where are you seeing the most interest in, in your products at the moment? Is it following LTE deployments or you know EPC upgrades? As well? It is uh, primarily the uh, LTE uh, deployment uh, direction, so um, the EPC architecture itself. Um, so from a uh, large scale, um, full scale 19 inch rack uh, with multiple blades down to a lower level with let's say up to uh, two blades uh, to a smaller scale. Um, but it's not limited to it. So you can also have some of the content delivery platforms for, let's say, IPTV and so on, where this multi-core architecture also can play a role for, for content insertion, like uh, advertising and so on, uh, you know, to basically stream <coughs> uh, high bandwidth um, content to the end user.
So in that instance, you're actually looking at sort of revenue generating opportunities for operators? Um, Correct, for operators and for the telecom equipment manufacturers. So generally, uh, revenue generating means also time to market. So there's only a certain window of getting this platform into the market and into the network. When you talk about, uh, for example, IPTV deployment, uh, there's a crucial path of getting that to the market. Uh, also, uh, mobile content delivery uh, onto your mobile devices. The, uh, the increase of the uh, iPhone becoming available in the market and overall uh, usage case, you, ha you have so many um, end user devices with IPv4 introduction and so on for LTE. Uh, there is a significant time to market advantage if you already use some prepackaged um, uh, combinations on a platform level uh, to provide deep pocket inspection, for an example, to actually. Uh, get to the revenue much quicker. For the carriers, it's obviously uh, the new uh, challenge to to uh, sustain the quality of service for all these di different devices. Um, and the telecom equipment manufacturers, with our hardware in combination with some of our software, mm -hmm. can provide that in a timely fashion.